to like adjust to the way Mango plays it because it is so different from what you're going to be used to from pretty much every other Falco. And how much better awareness he has of specific situations, uh, it'll be tough. But so far, Craig not doing a bad job. I think you just have to hit really hard. I think that's where you can really stifle a lot of Mango's momentum. It's like, Mango's really good at making good decision, good decision, good decision over and over and over again, and also really good with just movement and combos. But if, you know, you get Mango stuck in like a down throw tech chase sequence as Sheik, you know, things of that nature, you can really get a lot of momentum away from him. And it's going to be on Krik to make the most off these you know, combos that Marth really can't What a fantastic upbeat. Yeah, like here, you got to just close it out. Yeah, and Krik does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strong start so far. Doesn't doesn't go do the shield drop there. I think Mango is trying to wait for a shield drop. Punish. This is big. This is huge, actually. You should get this. Yeah, oh, that's insane. I'm telling you, that's, that's, that's the way. Stealing sets for from the beginning of time, man. Like, yeah. this is this is one of those one of those matchups. But I I think it is like such a intellectually stimulating matchup. There's just so much going on. Uh, this is one of the matchups in the game where I think like if you hate it, you probably just need to like learn more about it because even when it's like even though it's annoying at a higher level, it just becomes more and more fun when they're all the little laser mix-ups, all the ways you can kind of mix up their uh, the punishes. Uh, and Mango just does so much of that very brilliantly, but Krike is running away with it, man. What yeah, I think actually the lasers that you talked about, Krike has been doing a good job doing like a nair right in the face yeah. of those lasers and then making the laser not do anything, right? Because suddenly you just get a hit off of it instead. So far this is looking real good. And the yeah, that'll be down there, yeah. The, the, the tech chases off the grabs are also huge. Both at low percents and high percents, because he set up positionally. There's that nair again, but Mango gets out of it, forward smashes. Yeah, maybe I can't see this. There's again, putting it right above Falco so that you jump into it with the jump laser. Good edge cancel though. Again, dude, part there. of it is the, is the the like the beat one approach from Mango, where he'll laser and then jump in, laser and then jump in, and uh, obviously Nair is just a hard thing to punish in general. No edge cancel there. No punish. Oh, I like the little I wait really like that the back air again. What an air dodge. Well timed air dodge. Really good forward air. Insane slide off. Okay, Mango's slowing it down already. Yeah, but I mean, there's a lot of percent oh. to come back on. I actually love that he went for the back air there because down air wouldn't have worked. Like, thinking about it now, he would have just made, gone to the ledge. Yeah. yeah, I think you're right. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, no, oh. you don't want to give Mango a chance. Uh-oh. Oh, a little bit of a miss there. Okay. Accidental forward smash, tries to get the roll read in. This is where Marth kind of struggles, and this is where Falco can start to run away with it. Like, it is not easy to kill Falco here, even when he's doing that. <laughs> but that's not the throw. Okay, okay that's, that's it, yeah. That's it, that's it, that's it. Okay. So we saw a lot of adjustments, like, off rip. Uh, Mango started to kind of mess with a bit of the approach kind of tempo. There's sort of a, a rhythm you have with Marth where you kind of, like, there's, there's a couple different points. One is how many times do you laser before you go in? And then the second part is, um, like, what is the timing? Do you laser and then immediately run in? Or do you laser and then dash back and then run in? Or do two dash chances? There's kind of like a couple different layers. Oh, I hate that. Every every uh, PTSD. It's, it's just... Uh, that happens to the best of us. Yeah, yeah. It'll happen to Falcons. It'll happen to Foxes. Falcos. We've all been there. Yeah, it's like a... It's a systemic societal issue at this point. Yes, they gotta, they gotta patch that up. Yeah. Okay, no, no uh, full edge guard sequence here. I mean, I think Craig is doing a phenomenal job playing around the laser. We saw like power shield, that particular instance. We saw like fair outing of the laser in the air. You do like that instant fair. That's also super good for the Marth then. You just get a huge combo starter, a lot of a reversal. Even there, Craig was waiting outside the slide off distance that Mango did, and then tried to punish off that instead. So I think Craig's playing this really well. Yeah, like Very fantastically. Oh, calls out the jump, but then it's the upbeat. He doesn't get the hard hit of the upbeat, so it doesn't send very far. Power shield roll. Okay, in the corner though. So we haven't talked. I'm sorry, I can't no, 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 We no. haven't talked about this yet, but I do not like this stage for Falco at all. And this okay. was Mango's counter pick, and he's been counter picking here. And I, I, I don't get it. I feel like this is like baby FD, but actually with some benefits. Like obviously with the transformations, the dynamic is a bit different. But I like, I really would love to hear Mango's rationale for why he goes to Stadium lately, because I just, I hate this stage, quite frankly, as Falco. I like at least in this matchup. I, I don't really don't like it at all. So 
I think maybe so you can play like a little bit more of that kind of like distance game, but then you don't get the. You have some escape options, unlike FD. Yeah. So maybe you can play like a little bit more of a laser heavy game, but you get the affordability to get out of some of these combo sequences, I would guess. Also, that little like distance between the platform and the, the ledge is a nice like kind of spot to stay underneath as Falcon falls. Okay, but here we got a big combo. This is looking a, like this FD. Is huge. Yeah, down smash. Oh, just barely doesn't get it. Slightly low uh, fastball, or slow fastball timing. But yeah, typically Mars do like counter big in this stage, so I think it's a little bit more just preference than uh, it being like a straight up good for Falco kind of deal, you know? It's definitely, he's got to have like, because he's been doing it consistently, there must be something that he likes about it. I mean, you can get the pillar combos, but it's not as extreme as FD, but I don't know. Okay, so far, Craig's still holding on to a lead. How? Oh god. Great mash out. Really important mash out action. Up here? Okay. Uh, yeah. Back here, not gonna quite getting the KO. Nice. Good timing on grabbing the ledge there. Yes. Allowed Mango to get the perfect, perfect back here. This is this is huge, you know. If Craig goes up 2-0 with the FD possibility, like you have to close this out as Mango. Yeah, you definitely great. Really grab. good pressure though. Oh, okay. okay, just get out of there. Huge. Okay. This is how it starts. The windmill looking like it was going to interrupt the combo, but not quite. Oh, the little lip of the stage kind of messing up the movement, but Mango not being able to get to the ledge in time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a risky down air by Mango, by Mango but it ends up working out. Okay. Nice. I well like done. the commitment. That one extra beat to roll it up, like you said, well timed. That, that was so crucial. Nice. All right, tied up. And this is where the experience that Mango has, and I, I even see this a little bit from, from Pryke, like, Kind of shaking his head, you know, looking a little frustrated. That's where you're like, I could have been 2-0 oh, versus Mango, but now I'm not. Whereas Mango's like, okay, cool, I'm starting to stabilize. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, sort of know. mental dynamic is tricky. Oh my god, you see the, the, the DI on, on that, not that particular down but the one before. Just kind of got out of the pillar sequence, it looked like. But we're going to see those long extended combos here from, from Mango Zen, and it's going to be on Frank to kind of do the same thing, because it is your counter pick. Oh. Uh-oh. Well, okay, we're back. A lot of these grabs also, I think that's actually been a big adaptation from Mango Zen the last game and this one, is going for more grabs. As we talked about, I mean, it's just a good mix-up to throw in, even if it doesn't net you a huge combo, but no tipper. Well, one nice thing in this matchup, too, is actually grab is okay in this. In this, Like, you actually sometimes do get the big moments. It's not guaranteed, but, like, sometimes you do, like, an up throw down air, they DI in, you get, you you get, get a mix kill, you know? Like, you yeah. can go for, like, little forward throw, F-tilt stuff. Like, it depends on the percent, but there, there's some stuff that you have where, like, against Sheik, it's just not as consistent. He's, like, the right weight. You get mix-ups for sure. Out of the pressure there. Nice recovery. Yeah, Mango's been doing a good job actually, just like staying close to the ledge and being able to threaten grabbing ledge. Oh my god, fantastic. Yeah, that was great. Ah, uh, tries to go right into down smash, which probably would have been the KO. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that didn't connect there. Like the, the hit of the down air must have been a little bit stronger. Yeah. And see there, I feel like that part of that reason why that pressure sequence is working is because Mango's been throwing in those grabs. So now it's like, oh, okay, you can do laser into grab, or you can do laser into shine, laser into nair. Nair on shield, run away. Now it feels like really difficult to kind of track what Mango's going to be doing under shield. I completely agree, and you pair that with the fact that Mango has been adjusting and mixing up his laser approaches. Like, the way he has been lasering, it is so difficult to call out when is he actually going in. Yeah. And uh, so much of the neutral has been really, really clean. Okay, but Frank has got to close this out right yeah. here. That's nice. That should do it. Good edge guard. I mean, one grab. That's the counter pick, right? We just haven't seen it actually so far. All the combos have been actually from Mangos at, oh my god, does this end? Off the top maybe? Almost. Keep it simple, roll up slow here. Ooh, okay. Oh there, my god. There's a thing that KGH likes to do a lot where you grab ledge, roll up, and then just wave dash back and grab ledge again. And it beats that Marth going low recovery. Mm -hmm. um, I don't see Mango do it as much because he has some kind of other ways of pulling things out. But sometimes I think he like sort of forgets about that option. Sure, yeah. That makes sense. But here we go. Oh, man. I mean, at the low, low percents, it is kind of tricky to get the, the re-grab there when they're doing the slight DI above you. 
At this kind of percent, you can get a little bit more. But the, the lowest percent is a little bit more. Can it is, yeah. Okay, you can't be dropping this. like. But Mangle's doing really good DI. I mean, it's like kind of that up kind of DI where the forwarder doesn't sit too far to the left. And so you can't really get like a huge combo off of it. You're just kind of like juggling the bow. There you go. Okay. Yeah, caught him acting out a shield right there. Okay, but okay. this is big. Ooh, he didn't want to Oh my it. god. For how... I don't want to say slow paced the combos yeah. were in the previous iterations of that kind of shine down air. You weren't really expecting going for forward air into down air like that. I was thinking it was going to be another like pillar Yeah, sequence. for sure, for sure. That's I think crazy. that's one of the other things that uh, Mango is really good about is that Falco has a lot of like kind of high value options that are really scary against Marth, but yeah. you still have to do. And he's okay with like one of the things you've seen him do a lot this set is he'll. Uh, do a late down air and then immediately do a down air to try to catch a roll, which right. where he won't shine. And if they could just shield grab that if they chose not to roll, but you gotta do it because they roll a lot. And like doing that in these scary corner situations like is necessary because then you can kind of get a crazy combo off of it. Yeah, and then you get like a low percent KO as well. Especially by the ledge. Ooh, even there, I, I feel like Mango's yeah. doing a good job catching the rolls. Like putting like a little bit of pressure with the, the aerials on shield and then catching the rolls. Even here, that right was there, another, right? like, exactly. trying yeah. to get another roll read. Oh I, my god. Sometimes it's like, like, keeping it simple, you know? Something like just calling out and spacing around certain movement options is all you need to do. And right now, Mango is looking, like, completely in control. This is this is so dominant after a kind of a pretty tight game three. I think just, like, the, the speed that Mango is playing is just a little bit oh, different sure. than the previous previous games. Oh my god. The combo game is so consistent. Oh my god. It's so consistent. Whose counter pick was this? Down air. Again. Hasn't allowed that out. You know, we, we saw the tweets. Up. Did you see about how, like, there's a certain DI you can do to kind of make that not a mix-up, but not different even, time. Yeah. Not even being presented. Oh god. Okay. Almost just ended it right there. The Quattro? Is that oh my, again? Oh, oh my god. god. Jesus Christ. That was brutal. Holy shit. God damn. You, you know, after all, after how like back and forth the other games were, it just was 